Hey guys, Joe Massa here, Castle & Cook Mortgage. Today is Friday, July 11th. Hope that everybody is looking forward to a big weekend for your open houses and lots of buyer traffic. Uh, the weather is supposed to be great this weekend, so you should have lots of people through your listings and hopefully getting a lot done for new business. Wanted to talk to you guys today about down payment and funds verification. Um, this is one that we run into a lot where a customer wants to purchase a new property and one of the first questions we ask them is, great, how much money are you planning to invest into the new home? And their answers always vary depending on how much planning they have. Maybe they say, I want to put down 3.5% to do FHA, or maybe I want to put 5% down for conventional or 10% or 20% or whatever that number is. That's great. We know whatever amount they want to invest, we want to help them with that. But then when it comes time to verify the funds, you know, the customer says, I want to put down $10,000. No problem. Mr. Customer, I'm going to need you to send over your pay stubs, tax returns, bank statements, etc. We receive the bank statements, and they only have $1,000 in the bank. And so we call the customer and say, hey, you know, you mentioned that you wanted to put down $10,000. Where are the additional funds? Oftentimes, the customer will tell us, well, I have those funds in cash. Um, I keep it in my dresser or in my closet or, you know, underneath my bed at home. Um, and as crazy as that sounds, it is very common for people to keep large amounts of cash on hand. Well, when it's time to buy a new home, um, you have to be able to verify those funds. All right, We've got to verify any deposits into your account within the last 60 days for greater than $500. So you've got $10,000 saved up in a shoebox, and now you take that down to the bank, you deposit that into the bank. Um, we're not able to verify where those $10,000 funds, $10,000 in cash came from. Um, we don't know if you've been saving it. We don't know if you held up a 7-Eleven uh, or what you did. Um, so if you're working with customers and when you're talking with them about their down payment, they say they have a lot of those money, a lot of that money in cash. Um, talk with them about starting to deposit those funds. Um, otherwise, they've got to deposit those funds and leave those funds in the bank until we can get two monthly bank statements, uh, and then we don't have to verify any of the older deposits. So then when we move forward, uh, we've got their funds in the bank, but it may be 60 or 90 days down the road in order for them to get those two bank statements. So just a tip for you guys, watch out for cash deposits. It's a big one. Um, we are seeing a lot more of that, especially summertime. People are busy. People are getting graduation money and doing side jobs and getting lots of extra cash. Um, we've been running into that uh, a few times over the last couple of weeks. I just wanted to have you guys watch out for it. So if you have any questions or anything else I can do for you, please feel free to give me a call, 303-809-7769, or you can email me, jmassey at castlecook.com. Uh, I'll be available all weekend and be happy to help with anything you guys need. All right, guys, have a great weekend. We'll talk to you soon.